Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to take a look at the Snapdragon S2 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GD i9100. I'm going to teach you guys how to successfully install it without any hitches or any problems. So stay tuned for that. Hi again. So first things first, we obviously have to download the ROM itself. This time we're going to be checking out the Snapdragon S2 for the Samsung Galaxy S2. It's version 1.3.1 and it's roughly about... 566 megabytes. No worry, I'll be posting the download link in the guide on wiredmash.com and of course in the video description below. So of course we have to have our Samsung Galaxy S2. We're gonna get our micro USB cable and of course guys you have to have your phone rooted to in order to install it so if you got any if your phone isn't actually rooted right now don't worry I'll be providing links in the uh, video description below also as you can see it opened up already so we're gonna transfer the file so we're gonna head over to the SD card or you can also install it on your internal storage if you wish so we're gonna paste it there I'm gonna give it some time to copy and um, I'll be back once it's done so once it's done copying to the SD card or to the internal storage you can easily remove the micro USB cable and that's it. We're gonna switch off the phone right now. So once your phone has been powered off, we've got to head over into recovery mode to install, of course, the Snapdragon S2 ROM. So all you have to do is to press uh, volume up, home button, and power button all at once for 10 seconds, and your screen should flash twice. I am talking about the Samsung Galaxy S2 logo. So as you can see, the first flash is done and the second flash is done also so at this point I will just wait until it goes into recovery mode and we can let go of you know, holding it so of course we've got to wipe data uh, do a wipe data partition and a wipe uh, cache partition prior to installing the ROM so that of course uh, we won't have any issues and of course we're coming from a different platform and different ROM and this might mess it up in the long run so doing this is a need. So once we've done the, with the wipe data factory reset, we had we head over to wipe cache partition. All right, so we're done with that. We're going to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. We're going to find Snapdragon S2, and yes, we're going to install it. It's going to open the package, and it's going to probably take a few minutes to install. So it roughly took about uh, three minutes to install. So once you're done installing, we're gonna head back to the main menu and we're gonna do a wipe data factory reset once again, just to be sure. And we're gonna do a wipe uh, cache partition also. Okay, so once that's done, we can reboot the system now and boot for the first time to the Snapdragon S2 ROM. And of course, folks, um, give it some time to boot up. Um, it usually takes a long time for the initial boot. So just be patient with that. So it finally booted up and we're presented with the setup screen. So we're gonna, of course, choose our language. I'm choosing United States. We're gonna select Start. Of course, I don't have a SIM card inside it, so that's not a problem. I'm gonna click Next. I'm gonna skip the Wi-Fi. I'll set it up later on. I click Next again for the time. I skip the Samsung account. Uh, skip the Google account. I'll do that later on, of course. Next, next, next. Um, the name, as you can see, we've got the Samsung Galaxy S4 keyboard here also. And basically, this is like uh, getting the same user experience on the Samsung Galaxy S4 on the Samsung Galaxy S2. So this is quite similar to the ROM S4, which I reviewed and checked out the other time. And um, look, we've got, this is ac actually looks like the Samsung Galaxy S4 with the same user experience and uh, same icons here and there and then I believe a uh, few few differences in regards to um, some added applications here we've got ink color changer I guess that's for the lock screen so let's check out the lock screen so yeah this is basically like the um, Samsung Galaxy S4 user experience so let's check out the set oops not hide apps 
I need to go back to head over to the system settings. It's not there. Let's find where it's setting setting. There we go. We've also got the S translator and um, additional S apps here. So it's version 4.1.2, and it's of course running on the Sia Doriman X uh, kernel, and the build number is version 1.3.1 of the Snapdragon S2 ROM. So stay tuned for the upcoming review in about uh, a week's time. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe to Wired Mash as, as it helps us a lot, and don't forget to visit wiredmash.com. And most of all, thanks for watching.